On this adventure, the plan is to go map some forest roads for Onyx Off-Road that we had tried to map before, but due to bad weather and trees down, we had to abort and head home. We're going back to that area. We will be traversing some forest roads that we've already mapped for Onyx Off-Road and are live on the app. Since we're traveling these roads anyway, we'll go ahead and put an update on those particular roads on the Onyx Off-Road app. We had explored Dutch Mountain Road and had to end that where the trees took over the trail and I was afraid of scratching the Cherokee Trailhawk up few pinstripes are fine, but scratches are a no-go for me. But we did get quite a bit of that trail or road mapped, and there are some dispersed campsites up there, and we do have that video live on our channel already, and those mapped roads are turned into Onyx. If okay, we just come off of this road three here and we've actually already mapped that road to another road uh, but we're going to start another route or trail going this way we tried to go this way when we actually ended up going that way uh, and a tree was across the road and it's raining and too big for me to cut so we backtracked and we came back and we ended up going this way and we mapped that for Onyx. Now we're gonna go back this way and, and this kind is gonna wind its way to Jack Creek. So uh, be more pictures than anything. It's very hot. My, my camera equipment's not wanting to work very good being outside, it's overheating. So we just get a lot of pictures and hope y'all enjoy it. Temperatures are pretty hot this weekend this is the fourth weekend and we set our 1910 ESP Rockwood pop-up up at Sunlight Bay campground knowing that it's going to be another hot day we went ahead and loaded our ice co refrigerator that we had in the back of the Jeep up with some sodas and some water so everything would be nice and cold went ahead and threw a few snacks back there too I run the ISCO off of our Vector power station that was sent to me. We've been using this Vector power station for quite a while now. I've run several tests on it. We have some videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, but I plugged the ISCO into the Vector, and then the Vector is plugged into the Jeep. And as we're driving, the Jeep keeps the Vector powered, and the vector powers the refrigerator the system has been working really well uh, when i turn the jeep off our plug is dead so the refrigerator continues to power off of the vector power station and then when we get back in the jeep and fire it up of course that starts recharging the vector we've had no issues doing this i really like the system and it's also there if you need to charge equipment and uh, other power uses. So, so far the Vector is working out really well. Uh, I'm very happy with it and highly recommend if you're looking for a power station to check it out. Uh, your local Lowe's and Home Depot, Tractor Supply carry this brand. But anyway, knowing that we're going to be able to have cold drinks on this hot day, we're going to continue on with our adventure. All right, we just finished the trek up this road here. That sign says that is 51. We got to prevent forest fires. Washita National Forest sign there. I see a firewood cutting area sign we got a road going to the left and we've got a road going to the right and we're going to end this track right here and start a new one 
leaving Sunlight Bay Campground and we're going to head to Highway 80 where Moss County Road will take us into the Washita National Forest. We'll travel several forest roads, like I said, that are already mapped for the Onyx Off-Road app and are live on the app. And we're going to go to the area that we tried to map before, but ran out of time. On this hot, dry day, we're hoping that things are going to work out differently. All right, this is a little camp area we found off of Jack Creek Road. Now, we've got somebody shooting a gun in the background there, it sounds like. And it, this is, actually has a little road right here. And there's, it's like a, it's a creek back here. Not sure how muddy it'd get to. Starting to rain on us a little bit. Yeah, that just looks like a mud hole. Thought maybe there was a creek going through here, but maybe on down. Come on, Remy, let's go back. It's muddy that way. But the uh, campsite's pretty nice. That's where we come in off of Jack Creek Road. Somebody's piled some stones up right there, but yeah, pretty nice campground. After taking pictures of a cool old building on Moss County Road, we continued into the forest and took Mace Road to Tally Mountain Road, Tally Mountain Road to Walnut Grove Road. From Walnut Grove Road, we hit Baker Road. Baker Road takes us to Petite Jean Road, or 51. Petite Jean Road is where we want to start mapping again. This is the road that we tried to take before. It had a huge tree down on it, so we had to backtrack, and we rerouted our route for the Onyx app. And like I said, that route is live on the Onyx app app and if you use onyx you'll see those roads in blue those trails include pictures information and things that you would want to know if you plan on traveling the roads all these roads wind through beautiful forest so after hitting petite jean road which we wanted to explore and map this Route's going to take us past Jack Creek Recreation and Campground area. We're going to go past Knobber's Ford Recreation area. We're going to see Sugar Creek Trails area. There's a west uh, parking lot area that you'll go by. And not to forget the beautiful views, several more gravel forest roads and creeks. Our mapping will end at White Oak Road, which has previously been mapped by us and included in the other route I was talking about. So when we leave the Sugar Creek area, the, the road that the Sugar Creek ATV trails are on, and hit White Oak, we're going to turn right or west, and that will take us to Highway 71. We get on Highway 71, we'll backtrack to Sunlight Bay Campground for another enjoyable evening at camp. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description for other videos and Onyx Off-Road app.